Alone Together, a DS9 Companion, Episode 4, With Grace. Quark has established himself as a rather successful entrepreneur. After the Dominion War ended, Deep Space Nine quickly became a tourist hotspot. Its vicinity to the wormhole, as well as its strategic role in the war, drew great attention, and Quark's bar became one of the hottest places to be in the Alpha Quadrant. With a high interest loan from the Ferengi Commerce Authority, co-signed by the Negus himself, Quark began to franchise his bar. At first, Quark was making personal appearances, serving the first hundred drinks at all of his locations. But after 10 locations open, Quark invested in a holographic emitter that places him as a greeter. Of course, Quark went with the cheapest program, but they since corrected the greeting from Welcome to Wark Square, though according to Quark, few guests noticed the mistake. Quark still tends bar at the station, of course. It is the best way to come by the kind of lucrative information he is still famous for having. And it keeps him clo close to those who like him, as well as those who tolerate him for what he can do for them. The USS Voyager returned to the Alpha Quadrant in 2378 after seven years in the Delta Quadrant. Coming home with technologies and information from an alternate future, most of Voyager's archive remained classified in order to protect the timeline and avoid paradoxes. Unfortunately, before its termination, the Pathfinder project was not as secured as it perhaps should have been. In our last episode, Dr. Bashir and Jake Sisko continue to make inroads in determining the source of the virus. The doctor has made progress in his research, but a cure continues to elude him. While Garrick continues to have faith in Dr. Bashir, the Cardassian people are running out of time. Um, Mission log, star date 7371518. The situation on Cardassia Prime remains unchanged. Biometric analyses are ongoing, but progress is slow. Castellan Garrick has begun to demonstrate signs of advanced infection, and I'm growing concerned that he's running out of time. So am I. Oh, uh, Doctor? Doctor, are you there? Yes, Garrick. Of course. Uh, what can I do for you? I just spent six hours talking to some of our best physicians at some of our very best hospitals. It appears that once the virus reaches the brain, its virulence takes hold and accelerates beyond our capabilities. Now, our citizens have begun to realize something is very wrong. People are revealing time-honored see secrets, <laughs> time-honored recipes, as, as well as the national secrets. Are that's in restaurants losing business, Garrett? Ah, uh, well, th th this is serious, Doctor. As they begin to reveal their innermost secrets, their ability to return to lucidity diminishes until they are relaying memory after memory, eventually succumbing to complete neurological failure. Well, Garrick, that's awful, but you're not telling me anything new. Have they discovered anything helpful about the neuronal misfiring? Are there any patterns, any obvious causal indicators? Is there a change in biochemical markers? I'm, I'm sorry, Julian. I mean, nothing has been revealed that I haven't already shared. I truly wish I could make this easier for you. I mean, the fact that your Section 31 colleagues also wish to see me eliminated only serves to underscore the danger looming over my people. I told you, Garrick, that's a directive I have no intention of carrying out. Well, you may not have a choice, though <laughs> there may be no need to choose. You're running out of time. Biometric analysis complete. Excellent. Computer, report results of analysis. Cardassian immunogenicity lacks adequate response to overcome viral propagation levels. Pharmacological intervention is recommended. Well, that doesn't sound terribly promising. Stand by, Garrick. Uh, computer, begin new biometric, biometric analysis. Oh, wait, additional input. Using prior settings, extrapolate potential for genetic resequencing as an avenue to enhance Cardassian immunogenicity in response to the virus. Specify focal point of resequencing to begin biometric analysis of immune response. Viral RNA. Acknowledged. Stand by. Estimated time to completion, eight minutes. 
Garak, each mm -hmm. analysis brings me closer. I know it's a significantly reworked version of the quickening. I looked through any medical transcripts I could find on the subject, and many were from Koval. There's something about this I can't access, but I'm getting closer, and Jake is getting closer. Yeah. Garak, I, I don't know what to say. Forgive me, Julian, <coughs> but it, it, it feels like we, we might be groping blindly in the dark here. I mean, after all, when I was forced to torture Odo for information, I felt so guilty that I sabotaged the only prototype of the quantum stasis field that the Romulans had developed. You could say I crippled a defense that could have won us the war. Y y yes, Doctor? You just did it again. I'm, uh, I'm sorry? You don't remember? You just told me about sabotaging a Romulan torture device. Oh, uh, I did? Uh, I see, uh, but Doctor. I know, I know, I know, hurry, hurry. So what you're telling me is that Koval stole classified information from the Daystrom Institute? Are you sure this channel is secure? Well, yes, I, I am. It is on my end. All right. And, uh, uh, and? And my publishers, Brott and Forrester are happy to give exclusive one-week preview rights to their hollow events and novels at all Quark's bars in the Alpha Quadrant. Just one quadrant? Quark. <laughs> all right. Apparently, the USS Voyager brought back information about a handheld surgical device. It was capable of altering genetic structures. The Tal Shiar managed to get their hands on the schematics. Uh, they had an, an operative in Starfleet Command who had certain access. Uh, and how do you spell their names? <laughs> nice try. <laughs> But as the seventh rule of acquisition states, keep your ears open. Koval was specific. The Dean medical technologies are still more advanced than the Federation's, specifically at altering schematic structures. If Koval had the ability to build one of their medical devices, he could customize any disease to any species with ease. Do we know why they targeted the Cardassian people? Not exactly. What my sources tell me is that he considered defeating Garrick to be a point of pride. Apparently, there were many attempts, both personal and via assassin, and none were successful. I'll say one thing for Garrick. He's a survivor. So, <clears throat> before he died, he wanted to make one more attempt. Uh, to put it mildly. Apparently, he had a feeling that Julian would end up getting involved. Koval had met Julian a few years back. He used his knowledge of Julian's work on a disease called the quickening. And then, used the Vidian technology somehow. Koval found his way to Cardassia to infect Garrick, infect Garrick, and was willing to infect the rest of the population to achieve his goal. He's a madman. No, <laughs> he was a madman. Now, well, now he may become a martyr to his people. He caused big problems for Cardassia. I think the Romulans would appreciate another major power being decimated the way they were, especially if in the process, Garrick is killed. Well, I mean, we still don't know that he's going to be successful. Julian is still working on a cure. Mm -hmm. Look, Jake, 
I like Quark. Uh, Garrick. I like Quark too. I like Garrick. We've had some dealings in the past, but there are some bets even I won't make. You hmm. know, Dr. Bashir's current whereabouts could earn me a few bars of platinum. Quark. <laughs> uh, just kidding. The hollow novels are enough. After all, rule of acquisition 162, even in the worst of times, someone turns a profit. Well, if anybody finds out about this, I'll know who told them. And then I'll start holding free Dabo classes on subspace for anyone who wants to turn, tune in. I was just kidding. I'm just making sure. How's business? Business? Business is booming, for the most part. And I still haven't gotten first refusal to open a Martian franchise. After all, it's only a matter of time before the Federation rehabilitates the planetary biosphere. It'll take a decade or two. But once the atmosphere is restored and new settlements are developed, I could retire on those profits alone. Yes, and then finally own more moons than your cousins. Gail? Yeah. Gala is up to six now. I think Mars could be the vacation capital of the Terran system. You, you mean except for Earth? Well, if you like paradise, sure. But even humans have appetites for the less savory side of life. And my hollow suites are... Look, they're legendary. I know. <laughs> I get it. Listen, I have to pass this information on to Julian. Thanks, Quark. That's two full months, Jake. <laughs> no Dabo for two months. I guess that's all right. I've got an idea for a new novel anyway. Oh, let me guess. No, a good author writes what he knows. Always a pleasure doing business with you, Jake. Give my best to the family. I will. The girls would love to see you, too, by the way. Um, they haven't seen Uncle Quark since, since uh, the funeral. I miss him. I was always against Nog joining Starfleet. I thought he'd finally proven me wrong. How's the investigation going? Closed. What? Starships don't randomly explode after leaving the wormhole. My investigation isn't over, Quark. Thank you, Jake. Next time I'm in the sector, I'll stop by. Hey, don't forget the Tongo wheel. I think you'll be surprised. Jennifer takes after her father. <laughs> <laughs> Count on it. Cisco to Bashir. Jake, thank goodness. Please tell me you have some new information. Yeah, well, you're not going to like it. Well, traditionally, it's the doctor's duty to give bad news. Well, <clears throat> here's a short version. Koval had a feeling that you would end up getting involved, so he decided to use a disease that you couldn't cure. The quickening. I had developed a vaccine, but not a cure. Though the changes he made to the pathogen have given me some entry point. <sighs> well, that's good news. Anyways, apparently he was able to steal an alien technology that was brought to the Alpha Quadrant by Voyager. Voyager? Of course. But Voyager's database was classified. No one outside the Department of Temporal Investigations has access. Yeah. Well, according to my sources, somebody in Koval's circle gained access to Vidian technology. Now, many Vidian medical advancements are out there, but none of their technology. 
there's apparently a medical device out there that makes the tricorder look like a self-sealing stem bulb. You mean the Vidian surgical device? Those schematics were locked down at the Daystrom Institute. Even Starfleet Medical had to jump through hoops just to get a look at the preliminary report on it. Exactly, exactly. You're not an easy man to surprise. To be honest, Jake, I'm astounded Koval even knew of its existence. Voyager's entire database was classified. Admiral Janeway must be furious. Yeah, probably, though she hasn't responded to any of my requests for an interview. <laughs> Anyway, Koval used the technology to alter the virus to infect Cardassians. Now, the problem is that none of my sources know exactly how it was altered. I'm guessing Koval played his cards pretty close to his chest. Well, the fact that he reconfigured the pathogen with Vidian technology helps. I've uh, been able to access the final reports on it. If nothing else, this confirms that my current analysis is on the right track. Thanks. Thanks, Jay. Anytime, Julian. Uh, and just remember, all of this is off the record, at least for the time being. <laughs> okay, Julian, you should know I have no plans of writing any of this down. Oh, really? Well, let's just say my next novel will be a mystery. Jake. <laughs> Let me know when Garrick is okay. Cisco out. Oh. Was that good news? Ah, uh, yes. Garrick, I think it was. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm finding myself somewhat lightheaded, uh, but otherwise, I'm fine. How are you? Well, I'm on my third Rectogena. What does that tell you? <laughs> well, I hope your fatigue is a sign that your hard work is paying off. I'm making progress. Jake was able to find out Koval altered the virus, and I am just compiling my previous data with this new information. Ah, uh, the ever resourceful Mr. Cisco. Analysis complete. Excellent. Computer, report results. Genetic resequencing to account for viral RNA is not possible. <laughs> Submolecular examination of this pathogen suggests codon modification may yield positive results. <sighs> Computer, display a complete analysis of this terminal. Apply supplemental parameters outside of in file. Bashir Delta Omega 4. <laughs> Positive results? Perhaps your earlier optimism has infected your computer. Uh, perhaps, Garrick. When did you take your last dose of inaproviline? Oh, about two hours ago. And the computer tells me when it's time, Julian. Well, I'd like you to take another dosage now, please. Anything that will strengthen you until I can figure out a treatment. Uh, very well, Doctor, if you insist. This is amazing. There's no way Koval was able to develop this pathogen. Vidian technology or not, he lacks the knowledge of interspecies submolecular biology. You know, Julian, I, Mila is, I mean, she becoming such a distraction. She's constantly prattling on. Mila? Garrett, Mila has been dead for 25 years. What? what? Oh, well, yes, I think what a strange thing for you to bring up. Are, are you feeling all right? Garrett, you brought her up. You said she was a distraction. Oh, I hardly think so, Julian. But, but, but en enough of this. I mean, why did you contact me? I'm a very busy man. Garrett, I... Ah, uh, I contacted you because I heard that you weren't feeling well. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So how is your, um, how, how is your work proceeding on the cure? The cure? Yes, yes, for the virus. That's why you're contacting me, isn't it? Oh, yes, 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 of course, I think. I have found a method of attack. I just need to figure out what to attack with. And, 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 and what have you found? Well, codon usage, in addition to providing a way to circumvent the natural immune response, also affects expression of the viral genes. I have to disrupt the DNA, the, 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 the coding patterns of the genes within the virus without altering the innate DNA of the carrier. Yeah, well, yes, I, I believe I would prefer not to alter my DNA. 
Garrett, I think a specialized polymerase inhibitor may be our answer. The quickening vaccine will strip the pathogen of its bacterial sheath. This will give us access to the viral characteristics of the pathogen. Garrick, we may have our cure. Well, well done, doctor. I just need a few minutes to program the computer and to run a few simulations. And Garrick, I want you to take 25 millimeter hypochordrazine. It should help stabilize you until I have the antigen perfected. Garrick? Garrick? Are you there? Damn it, Garak! Hold on! Computer, taking Cardassian physiology into account, extrapolate a polymerase inhibitor that will disrupt codon usage of the pathogen. Upon serum development, sim simulate a two-tiered treatment, beginning with a vaccine for the quickening in a Cardassian infected with the pathogen. Working. Estimated time. Two minutes. Bashir to Central Command. Unable to make contact. All subspace communications are being redirected. Redirected? Garrick's closed the network. I'm going to have to land on the planet. Computer lay in a course for the capital. Castellan's official residence of the... G Julian, are, are you there? Garrick, thank goodness. I thought I'd lost you. Not, not lost. It's just, just a bit lightheaded. I need you to inject 25 milligrams of cordrazine immediately. Yes, of course, another hypo spray. I hate hypo sprays. Doctors love nothing more than filling their patients with drugs. Hardly. But if it will make you healthy, then it's something you really need to question. Serum development complete. Simulated treatment successful in 99.47% Yes, Derek, we have a cure. No, I, I, are you sure you have a cure? Yes. The computer says simulated nearly, ni nearly 100% success rate. We need to get you treated. Well, I, I, my people should take priority, Julian. Of course. Computer transmit formulas for both the quickening vaccine as well as the specialized polymerase inhibitor to Castellan Garrick. Garrick, get those formulas to your people and tell them to implement a mandatory planet-wide treatment protocol. Uh -huh. Everyone should be treated, whether or not they show infection, to eradicate the pathogen. All right, I've received your data and already Good. sent it to our central health authority for uh, dissemination. Excellent. Your replicator should be able to generate the treatment for yourself as well. Well, it's good to know. Well, go ahead. And do what? Well, damn it, Garak! You need to treat yourself before your condition worsens. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, my dear doctor, I have a confession to make. Yes. You see, I was never infected. What? I'm sorry, Julian, but it's true. You, you see, I never was at the gala. Koval and I never spoke. Well, not directly. I don't understand. You were seen at the gala. This all began because Koval spoke with you. Koval served you food with the pathogen in it. You said that he congratulated you. Yeah, well, sort of. Yes. Well, damn it, Garrett. No, you I, well, no. Me here like and yes. Is. And yes, then. Yes. Yes. I, not, not exactly. Knowing, knowing how a compromised Cardassia could affect the balance of power in this quadrant, I knew that the illness needed to be dealt with quickly and quietly. I did earnestly try to keep this in internal Cardassian matter. However, upon discovering Koval's role, I figured it would be best to begin dying before your friend, the intendant, found a way to make it happen. But how did you avoid being infected? Well, you see, Julian, I haven't been on the surface for over six months. Wait, you have a look-alike who attends state functions? Well, is he infected? Oh, no, no, he's impervious to the infection. You already had a vaccine? What the hell is going on? All right, doctor, control yourself, calm down. Intelligence led me to believe that I was being observed. I couldn't very well disappear without letting the galaxy know something was wrong. And I couldn't very well determine who was wanting me dead if I disappeared, so I 
reconfigured my EMH using my own physical parameters. When I needed to attend a state function, I would send him to my place, uh, in my place. I could monitor his perceptual subroutines and communicate with him without being seen or heard. No wonder you said he was offline. Mm. I'm furious, Eric. But I'm also impressed. Oh, thank you. But what about the secrets? The babbling? Oh, an award-worthy performance, wasn't it? You know, perhaps I should take to the stage a, a, a new hobby. Garak. I only revealed things I knew you to know. I mean, the Mila line, however, was an improvisation. I had to stop you from going to the surface. A minor misdirection on my part. Minor? So where are you operating from? An underground bunker? Oh, nothing so pedestrian. I have a sentinel station uh, in geosynchronous orbit at the northern polar region of Cardassia Prime. Northern polar region? Is that why you sent me to the southern pole? Well, I couldn't very well have you inadvertently discover me and curtail my plans now, could I? And why do I think there's more that you haven't shared? Perhaps because you know me, Doctor. Garrick, I think I've earned full disclosure at this point, don't very you? Very well. Yes, Julian. You have been patient. I needed you. And you can keep a secret. There was the possibility this would spread to the point where I couldn't contain it. You were closer to Caval than any of my agents ever were, and Mr. Sisko had the ability to get answers neither of us could. He's always been one of my most reliable operatives. Jake? Jake works for you? Oh, well, no, not exactly. He never knew it was me. But due to my political role, it's been ha harder to get reliable information since as a tailor. Garrett, you could have told me all of this. We could have worked together on your station and accomplished the same ends. Yes, but as we've both learned, Section 31 is able to monitor you. And I couldn't risk them learning of this station. Until we had a cure. Until we had a cure. You know, you, quite smartly, I might add, caught me off guard when you asked me to create holographic medical scanners. I thought that telling you my EMH was offline enough to keep you from scanning me. I mean, Section 31 has certainly honed your skills. Perhaps. Well, Garrick, where do we go from here? Would you care to join me for lunch? Lunch? Lunch. Uh, wh why don't you come retrieve me from this orbital prison and we can have lunch at my residence? Are you sure? I would imagine you have more pressing business to attend to. Well, I am a simple politician, a man of people. You are not a simple anything, Garak. <laughs> you never were. Uh, I've been away from my home for far too long. And after all, I have a walking computer to do all the menial labor. Computer, set the course for the northern polar region and engage at full impulse. Acknowledged. I look forward to seeing you, Julian. I've missed you more than you know. Well, then you can explain just how much you've missed me when I arrive. Well, Garak, there is one last thing that bothers me. A mystery you might be able to help me with. Well, I suppose I owe you a favor for saving my planet. What is it? Koval, dying so suddenly during all of this. Mm. Staying alive just long enough to infect you, he died of natural causes, the effects of Tuvan syndrome. Uh, yes, again. It is a 
pity he's not around to see yet another one of his failures. Tragic, truly. Indeed. Tragic. And rather mysterious. Oh, Julian, I hardly think solving a supposed murder mystery of a foreign government official is the business of a salutatorian doctor and a plain, simple tailor. Wouldn't you agree? I suppose we can discuss it further over lunch. If you must. Bashir, out. <laughs>